Uh, hi everyone. Now uh, today I'll just be talking about a small thing that is the umbilical vein varix, and uh, what is it basically? It is the cystic dilatation of the intra-abdominal part of fetal umbilical vein. Now, how would you get a suspicion that there is a dilatation when you are going to see the abdominal view of the fetus? No, when we are going to measure the abdominal circumference, usually we measure at this level only, and then you suddenly find that oh, this uh, uh, the portal vein area looks very prominent. There is a there is a dilated area in that portion, and what is that? Now, initially, you may get confused that this is a uh, uh, stomach or something but remember the position is not of stomach stomach is already seen separately and then when you will put color it is going to fill with color so obviously this is not that part and then we are very much aware of the portal vein position so there's no chance of confusion as such now uh, the second thing comes is that what uh, do we do next we just measure the area and we measure the portion which is maximally dilated and when we measure it and we find that the measurement is coming more than 9 mm or in some cases what you can do is you can compare it with the normal uh, vein. I'll show you in the video. You can compare it with the normal part of the umbilical vein and it would be more than 50% dilated compared to the normal part. The area of the varix would be more than 50% dilated than the normal vein. Then once you put color, what next you can do, you can put the spectrum and you will notice it shows you the typical venous flow as you see in the umbilical vein. So that will obviously confirm all your findings. Now the question comes, so they're diagnosing it or searching for it is not difficult, it is an easy thing. Only thing is sometimes you get confused that at what level or what cutoff should I say that this is an umbilical vein varix. So those cutoffs I've already told you, either it is more than 9 millimeter or you can compare it with the normal area of the vein and you can see that it is more than 50% dilated than the normal part of the vein. Then now the second question comes that what is the significance of uh, this? If I see umbilical vein varics, what should I do? The thing is that always screen such patients for other abnormalities. You found one certain abnormality, then you should always look for other abnormalities because in some cases it has been found to be associated with chromosomal anomalies and particularly even cardiac anomalies. If there is an isolated one, like this case was an isolated case, in this case we did not find any other abnormality. No, this case was an isolated case. So in most of these isolated cases, the prognosis is good. But yes, I would say uh, you should just do a follow up in these cases. Some cases may develop little later, may develop some kind of uh, CHF uh, appearance, card uh, cardiac failure uh, may occur in very rare cases. But most of this case went out normal and the baby was delivered normally. So now let us just see the video. can see this now I'll just go back and show you again I'll move slowly so that you can make out this is the area now you can see this portion is absolutely fine so you can compare this and this and obviously by look only you can make out that this is much much more dilated than this normal area and second thing is when I've already measured it it was more than 9 millimeter it was around 10 millimeter or so then I am putting color and we can make out that this is the area of the portal and this is in the longitudinal view you can again make out this is again the umbilical vein part of it is dilated this part is normal this part is also normal and a part of it is distended so this is an umbilical vein varix and what you have to do I have already told you in such cases so that's it it's a small topic and I hope uh, it added to your knowledge.